And we're doing this through hashtag Pace you and Rave, which is a club here on campus where we um, teach about uh, consent and we advocate for survivors of sexual assault and we advocate for policy change and um, I've been very very involved in all the protests happening here in New York City and um, I've been specifically involved with student organizing because I think that's really important because if you look at history it is the students who are able to make change like, i think it's really important to get involved now because we're going to be the ones who are hopefully the leaders in the future and hopefully make a better america and a better world so right now we're just making posters for this protest going on monday sydney is awesome sydney is a very involved member here at pace and she always makes the effort to include everyone and she has just been so amazing with all the protests so if you ever want to like know some tips on how to protest and get your voice heard that's the girl to talk to. Good morning to everyone. It is a Monday morning and I'm feeling super motivated today because I woke up at around 7 a.m. without an alarm clock just I happened to wake up at 7 and I couldn't fall back asleep so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to get up and start my day early. So I cleaned the entire floor, I cleaned the entire bathroom, I did all my laundry, I changed my bed sheets, I... Oh, I've started looking into a few things related to college for next year, so everything has just been like fast paced. I just picked up all my laundry and it's still like super hot. I think I left it in for a little bit longer than I should have, but anyways, this morning at 11 a.m., uh, I'm going with my friend Nikki to a protest. I'm so excited because you guys know I love going to protests and interviewing people, so I will be doing that as well as afterwards. It is so nice out still from yesterday, so I'm gonna be going on a run at like 2 p.m., I think, in like West Village, so. So today is just a jam-packed day and I'm so excited and I'm very happy that I got an early start to it So I just wanted to share my energy with you guys because I'm feeling very enthusiastic at the moment So right now we're headed up to 59th Street Columbus Circle where Trump Towers is um, For the Not My President's Day protest which we had made the signs for the other day And so now we're traveling up with a group of Pace University students um, To go and participate in the protest and use our voices Most of these issues do not affect me directly, but they do indirectly. I believe in choice, and it's not for me to say what you do with your body. I believe in these things wholeheartedly, so that's why I'm here. I'm an Australian citizen. I've been living in America for 12 months, and uh, I feel very strongly that this is a world issue, not just an American issue. And and um, yeah, just here to voice my opinion on you know getting Trump out of office. So do you mind saying why you're here at this protest? 
Congress like? Because I think we have a uh, very dangerous person in the White House and we need to show that uh, we don't agree with what he's doing. We don't like him because he lost the popular vote. And uh, we need to also wake up Congress to uh, get them to, to put him in check because uh, we're, headed, we're headed down a very dangerous path potentially. And do you mind saying um, why you think people should be coming to these protests? I think people should be coming to these protests just to, to send a very loud and clear message. People have been. I mean, look around. There's a lot of people here. Uh, so, you know, this is this is democracy. We have a right. It's our First Amendment right. And we need, if you don't exercise your right, why have it? But my parents came from Puerto Rico, so I guess I would be considered an immigrant, such as such as Trump is. And I will not, I cannot put up with any more of the lying. And forget forget the fake news, okay? Because he creates his fake news. Don't, don't let him divert you, because that's what he does. So don't. And look, last night, did you know that uh, there was a terrorist attack in Sweden? Yeah. Of all, of yeah, all countries, did you know that? He's got to go, and he's not. Do you mind telling me your name and why you came to the protest today? My name is Brett Newman, and I came to the protest because I think that Trump should be president because he's doing bad things to other people. I'm passionate about coming to the protest because I believe in basic human rights, and I believe that Trump is taking them away from millions of people. <laughs> well, I'm um, absolutely humiliated and shamed to have Trump as the president of the United States, and um, his agenda is against everything that I believe in, so I will come to every protest I can. From Greenwich, yeah, we're from Greenwich, Connecticut. We're all sophomores. This is Renata. This is the poster she made on a moving train. <laughs> moving. That's awesome. Well, like the next um, generation. Yeah. The next generation. We're the next um, can we just say that Obama's Gucci and Trump is Walmart, okay? So if you could tell me a little bit about yourself and why you came today. Okay, my name is Judith. I'm a retired college professor and I'm here because I'm profoundly disturbed by the direction of the country and the fact that we're being governed by essentially a three-year-old. <laughs> Uh, my name is Chuck Finkel. I'm a New Yorker, and I'm here because of our unhinged president, who's a racist and a bigot and a misogynist, and he seems to have ties to Russia that aren't very good, and we really need to do something about it. So that's why I'm here. Um, hi, I'm Adele Myers, and this is my husband Jay Reingold, and uh, we're very concerned about what Trump's doing to this country, and we think it's really important to get out here and to fight for what we believe in um, and uh, you know have our voices heard. Pretty much what she said. <laughs> So if you could just tell me a little bit about yourself and why you came today? Uh, well, I'm basically an average person, I guess, an average American, but I feel like uh, Donald Trump does not speak for me, and when he and Sean Spicer say that what Americans believe, I think that's incredibly misleading and uh, unpatriotic. I am 27. I live here in New York City. I've lived here for about three years, and I think it's really important to voice our concern for the unconstitutional policies that Trump has put forth in the last month. Okay, so why are you here at the protest today? Um, we just want to show our support. I mean, the whole idea of everyone getting together to support one cause is so amazing. And I think it's important for teens to get out and yeah. support too, the younger communities. This is what democracy looks like! Um, and I work in local government and I'm a movement
moon lighting as a funnest. Um, I think that activism is really important uh, because our country is in crisis and I think it's important when our country isn't in crisis but we can't let it leave it up to other people to speak for us. Um, and it really seems to be working. It's getting under Donald Trump's skin. So um, we're going to keep coming out every week and uh, screaming. And it, you know, it brings us together. But it, it's also a very important political statement. Hi. Uh, so I'm from Argentina. I'm an immigrant. I immigrated here five when I was five years old. So this is really important to me because I have a lot of family that is going through a process and very difficult for them. Luckily, I was able to go through, and my family was able to do it. But other members. Just came back to my room after this protest. I think it was very successful. There were so many people there. The only thing I would have to say about this specific protest is that it really wasn't too riled up. Like the crowd wasn't crazy energetic. Like everyone's presence obviously matters a lot, but it was just a little bit off because there was constantly like a lot of barriers separating the protest, which kind of defeats the purpose of having like a whole united group because it makes it seem as though it's smaller than what it actually is. But I'm not sure if it's for safety reasons or whatever the reason may be, but but other than that, truly incredible how everyone was there and everyone came out to support and speak their mind and, you know, say what they want to say to the camera and to their friends. If you're interested in seeing more videos on my channel, whether it be college daily vlogs or videos of me going to different protests and speaking my mind, please make sure to subscribe and follow on all social media and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching!